Alright, so I've been playing this game for quite a while now and I realized that there should be a lot of new players that join the game and who may be missing on various basic techniques used by more experienced players to stay alive on the battlefield and be more effective. So this video is a quick refresher where I would go through most of them and uh, we'll try to explain how to apply them on the battlefield. One of the most popular techniques is called hull down and the idea here is that um, typically tanks have most of their armor at the front of their turret and their hulls have uh, weaker armor profile so you should get into position like this one where i'm able to hide my hull armor behind the heel and expose only turret armor in this uh, position enemy tank would have to shoot my very strong armor and most likely he won't be able to penetrate me so i'm completely safe from enemy shells while i'm doing uh, effective damage to my opponents now i'm going to the windmill and i start doing pretty strange thing i kiss the wall i heavily angle my tank and i expose only my side armor to the enemy but because the tank is so heavily angled, enemy shells easily bounce from that side armor. So even if it's not particularly strong, because of that uh, heavy angling, uh, most of the enemy shells just bounce. And this technique is called side scraping. While it works for the most of heavy tanks, there are situations where it doesn't, because uh, some tanks have rather weak side armor and when they are facing big guns they could actually overmatch the side armor so you should be aware of who is shooting at you but in this case I don't see any big guns so I pretty safe here the only way that they could damage me is by shooting high explosive shells but they don't do much damage now I'm starting to push I kill that T-34 in front of me and I spot KV-5 and uh, this is a really good player what he does is called reverse side scraping so typically tanks have uh, weaker armor at the back of the hull so he puts it against the wall so it's completely inaccessible to me and to my teammates uh, his uh, most prominent weak spot which is radio operator located at the front of the hull is facing towards their spawn so it's also completely inaccessible to me and uh, my teammates he exposes heavily angled left side of his armor to my team and heavily angled right side armor to me and by doing this he really maximizes the effectiveness of his hull unfortunately the turret of KV-5 is rather squishy so we are able to shoot him at uh, weak spots but um, this technique is rather useful on uh, tanks that have strong turrets and which could uh, use this technique effectively when they find a situation like this so this is reverse side scraping and it's, it could be very useful in certain situations the next clip is essentially a duel between two heavy tanks and what I want to highlight is that uh, the essence of the game is not to trade shots with other tanks so whoever has a better gun and more health points would win the essence of the game is to apply these techniques and basic thinking so when those things stack up you could get an amazing result and uh, when you just see it you may be thinking oh he's cheating uh, but in reality it's just the accumulation of all those useful things and right moves that produce amazing results so at this point I see Tiger 2 he has pretty strong frontal armor profile but I stay on uh, my side of the mound and I know that he has that particular weak spot at the top of the turret, that commander cupola. So I aimed at it 
and I was able to penetrate him right through this weak spot. And after that, I'm staying on my side and reloading. He also sees only my turret and he can't reliably penetrate me. So I'm not rushing him. I'm sitting and waiting for the next shell to do more damage to him. So he moves to the top of that mound and at this time I have my next shell loaded and I'm shooting him at the truck. So the idea here is that I would be able to uh, destroy his tracks so he would be sitting at the top still unable to shoot at me and he would have to use his repair kit and while he is using it he is again wasting time and during that time I'm loading my next shell so even though I was unable to destroy his track uh, it was a good attempt so he is moving and he has uh, his next shell loaded and I start moving forward. And the reason I do this is because I want to expose my heavily angled side armor to him to do exactly this. If he would be shooting uh, at the front of my hull, he would be able to penetrate me. But because of this positioning, uh, I was able to bounce his shell. Now I hold my shot and wait until he turns and I am able to penetrate his flat armor. After that I close the distance and I put my tank right into his face. And this is called face hug. The idea here is that again the most of your armor is uh, situated at the front of your turret. So when you put it right into his face uh, he can't shoot you effectively because all that he sees is that sea of red armor and he can't access other weaker parts of my tank. Also notice that since we were fighting on our side of the ridge, I was able to get help from the rest of my team while he didn't get any help from his team. And that boys and girls is how you eat full health enemy tank for free. The last thing I'd like to talk about is angling and it's not a technique per se, it's more of a lifestyle because it's something that people always do on the battlefield. The idea here is that you should angle your tank to minimize the damage that you take. Uh, what you see right now is KV-1 and there is another KV-1 shooting at it and uh, you see two flat armor panels and KV-1 could easily penetrate them. But as soon as you start angling your tank, uh, at some point they become completely red, which means that your shells would bounce. And this is angling. Uh, on the other hand, you expose your side armor and suddenly KV-1 could penetrate uh, the side armor of the tank. And this means over angling, which is a mistake. Uh, when you know that uh, uh, however you angle any tank would be able to penetrate you, you could uh, wiggle your tank like this and you would be exposing either your heavily angled side armor or your heavily angled frontal armor, which means that your opponent could be confused and he would have harder time deciding where to shoot at you. And this video illustrates how this works in practice. We have two KV-1 tanks. I'm unable to penetrate his heavily angled side armor. Now I'm driving around the corner and what I'm doing is that I'm trying to angle my frontal plates pretty heavily so I'm able to bounce his shells. And uh, he is trying to poke out, his side armor is over angled, I could penetrate it. And now I'm driving around the corner, flat angles on frontal armor and I'm able to kill him. And that's angling and over angling. Overall, uh, these techniques are pretty useful, learn uh, them and understand how they work. 
and after that you won't look like certain people which we don't want to point our fingers at so you have a good time playing this game and you would enjoy it much more so i hope this video was useful to you good luck and see you on the battlefield Review.